In this tutorial, I will install Hadoop 2.4.0 on Ubuntu Server 14.04, so April 2014, and the 64-bit version. And if you are using 64 bits, there will be a special step to do, else you will have some issues, and I will show you when we will get there. So first of all, I have my machine that is currently running, and I open two shells inside it so that we can do some things in parallel. First of all, I will go as root, so sudo minus i for interactive. It asks me for the password, and now I am root. I will do the same thing on the other shell, and then just clear my screen with clear. On one shell, I will install the prerequisite. I will first do an apt-get update to get the most updated version list of all the available softwares. And then I will install with apt-get minus y to say that yes, I want to install these without prompting, and then install. I will install Python software properties and also open GDK 7, which is Java version 7 on Ubuntu, so enter. And in the meanwhile that it is installing, it will take some time. So on the other machine, I will create a new user, which will be named Hadoop. And that user will also have a group with the same name. So I press enter, then it asks me for a password. I will enter one, but anything is fine. And then just press enter for every information. And here you go. So after doing that, we will go download Hadoop. First of all, I will go in the directory slash user slash local. And I will get it with wget. It's an Apache, Marer, iWeb, but you can get any matter that you want, and it's the version at dupe 2.4.0, that's the archive tar.gz. So we'll just let them finish, and then we will resume the tutorial. Now that both actions are completed, we can just keep one. And then if I do ll, we see the archive here and I will uncompress it with tar less zxf adoop 240 tar.gz enter and then if I do ll we can see the directory here and the user is strange because tar always brings the users but before fixing that we just create a symbolic link that will be a dupe that will be pointing to the other directory with a version like that in the future we can make a dupe point to another version and now we will fix the user with the ch own minus r for recursive in all the subdirectories we will put the user a dupe and the group a dupe to the directory and the symbolic link. So now if I do LL, we can see that both of them, these two, are all adoops. And the last thing to do is to change the user to adoop. Right now we are root, so we will use sudo minus u adoop to tell which user to take minus i like we already did to be interactive and my minus h is to use the home directory as the home directory of adoop so now we can see i am now adoop i will do a clear and we can configure adoop first of all we will go in the subdirectory and after that we will edit with vim the file in etc adoop adoop env. 
here you can see my cursor with the arrows I can go down and I will go to Java Home and do DD that will delete the current line and then I will go up one time and press O so it will happen a new line and then I can add some lines so I changed the Java Home to use the Java 7 OpenGDK that we installed it's uh, 64 bits and then I say that Hadoop is installed in this directory and since Java is 64 bits we need to specify these two lines to tell which library to use and that will fix the issue the issue that we will see is when we start Hadoop it will try to connect to the host that is called VM, another one that is called U, and a lot of other. It looks really like a full sentence. It grabs all the words inside it and tries to connect to all of them. So it's really weird as an error, but we won't have it now. So you just press escape, then colon W Q. You can see them at the bottom for write and quit so it will write the file and then quit and that's it we can already run Hadoop so if we do bin Hadoop enter we can see the help now we could just do LL here to see a, a bit what is in the Hadoop directory we have bin as we have been using here etc for the config files include lib libx has been and shares so that's just to see something now I will do a clear and we will just try it so we will create a directory with mkdir the directory name is input so if I do ll now we have input then I will copy some files it's really just all the XML files in etc Hadoop just to have some input files and I put them there so if I do ll input, you can see it copied all this file. And then we can execute something. It's it's the grep function that is in Hadoop MapReduce examples. So how it is working is that you tell to start Hadoop with a jar file which has all the jobs definition and inside that there can be many programs and there is one that is grep it will take all the files in the input directory and do a grep for that regular expression and output the result inside output so the actual expression is any line that contains DFS and then at least one letter from A to Z or a dot and then you can, since it's at least one, then it can have multiple. So then I press enter and we let it run. We can see a lot of information, but at least it's not written error, so everything is good up to the bottom. And then we can just concatenate with cat what is in the output directory and every file there and the result is just that we could find one DFS admin word just one time so try is really just an example and I will remove it so input output I remove both directory with rm minus rf and then if I do ll they are not there anymore so this was really just an example of running Hadoop locally. There is nothing distributed, nothing clustered. This will be the next video.